What's good, Raw Squad? And maybe the Schmack Pack, because today we are heading out to the grand opening of a smoothie shop, Tribe Nutrition. And the funny thing is, this is actually owned by my ex, so my ex is opening up a smoothie shop, so I'm going out to try some of her juices. We got 21 miles, a 39 minute, what? Wow, I didn't realize it was that far away. Maybe I shouldn't go. Sure, yeah, let's do it. A little bit of a road trip, am I right? Now I'm still trying to decide on what flavor shake and smoothie and whatnot to get. So if you have any suggestions, comment down below and let me know what your go-to would be. Although I'm not, I don't have like a menu with me. She sent me one, but I don't know where it is anymore, but you know. Whatever your favorite smoothie and shake is, let me know. So it looks like we better hit the road because we got to get there before they cut that ribbon, and I don't want to miss that. All right, we are officially on the road, and it so far looks so good. No traffic. Yes, perfect. Uh oh, the speeds are slowing down. It looks like we might be going into a construction zone. That's gonna totally suck. Oh no. Yo, we just drove by a sign that literally said the left five lanes are closed. So, okay. I Oh my god, okay, I can see some traffic coming up. We better get off at the next exit with everybody else so it's not gonna be the best idea, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, wow, of course, of course, of course, of course there's a traffic jam. Of course the freeway's closed the day I need to use it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I be caught in this backup right now? I mean, it only makes sense. It's only fair for me to be caught in a backup every fucking time I try to go anywhere. <laughs> why not? Well, I'm definitely going to take this first exit and get the hell out of here because I am not going to be sitting on it for two more miles and take the last possible exit because it doesn't make no damn sense. You know what? I gambled, didn't get off, and now we actually made it a whole nother mile. The freeway's not actually too bad, and plus we're in autopilot, so we don't really have to worry about it. So I guess it makes more sense to just chill here. Oh, no. Do I have to get off or what? It looks like we're staying on it. I'm just hoping that the 26 minutes it says to get there includes all this traffic. Because that'll suck if it ends up being an hour. But yeah, it made a lot more sense to just chill on autopilot and just go through the traffic instead of going on a detour and everything. I mean, why not? I can just I don't have to drive if I'm on the freeway. If I'm off the freeway, I have to make sure to stop at a stoplight in case somebody gets out of the way. And, you know, this is a lot easier. So let's get it. One lane of traffic. Let's go. Now, the good news about all this construction is that it looks like they actually fixed this road. Look how nice that looks. So nice, so fresh, so many clean lines. Perfect for autopilot. That's a little funny. We got off just to get back on and okay, I guess we have to get over again. I'm not sure where we're going, but... <laughs> It's kind of weird that we just got right back on or next to it or wherever this road goes. Y'all, 20 minutes later, we're back on the road. We got a clear freeway because this is right where it reopens. Perfect. Now we're about 10 minutes away. Gonna get there at about 2.50. So 10 minutes before they cut the ribbon. So I guess we're gonna just make it. All right, so I have arrived at the destination, although I'm not really sure where it is. Like there's a bunch of stuff here, but <laughs> I don't see a sign. I think it's over there because that's where people are going. Um, you know, I think there might be a sign behind that wall right there. I just can't see it from here. I guess I should go check. When in doubt, hit up the owner. <laughs> See where she at. There we go. Uh... And it's ringing. Hello? Hey, what's up? What's up? You what's up? What are you doing? What's up? What's going on? I'm at my club. What are you doing? Oh, is that you Crazy standing here. outside? Huh? <laughs> I can see you. You're oh, so you're yeah, I kinda got lost. I thought it would be over there, but I wasn't sure, so I had to call and make sure. No, come in. <laughs> I'll have to go back into the make shake. Alright. Cool. I'll though. be you there in a second. Okay. Later. <laughs> We just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for being here. It means so much to the world for us, and it's just crazy to think about where we were at, what, six months ago. Six months ago, I remember Rain and I met her at Forever 21. Right, we're shopping for some socks. And Raina comes out with 15 bags of clothes, which is perfect. Right, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, 
But I'm just so thankful for God, for all of us to be here, first of all, for Amen. you guys being the biggest support, and for God to give us the grace for what's happening today. Uh, we have been putting in mad hours to make this, this shop give an, uh, a facelift. Right, we were up till three o'clock last night. We we're just so four o'clock. Sorry, I forgot. Right, um, <laughs> but we were just so excited for our vision for this place. You know, yes, we're serving healthy nutrition and smoothies and teas and very healthy things, but it's more for the community. And we have a big, big vision for this shop. We're really excited. We're going to eventually do five k runs to give back to the communities. Uh, we're doing homeless. Uh, we're giving pizza as a way for feeding the homeless. We're doing a lot of stuff to give back to the community. So we're really thankful for you guys for being here. It means so much for you guys just supporting and showing up. And uh, we love you guys so much. Uh, I don't know if you want to add something, but yeah, okay. Let's have the honors. <laughs> This month is going to be your year, right? One year, and it's just crazy to think that we just invited her to our nutrition club a year ago, and next thing you know, it we're opening up a shop together, right? It's just the vision of what we have. Are you getting ready for that? Yeah, like don't shoot me, please. Um, our hours. So we're going to be having our hours from Monday through Sunday. We're going to be open seven days a week. Okay. So we're really excited to serve you guys. Let everyone know. Uh, most important thing for me, you guys, is the community inside of this shop. You know, it's all about the community and having people, like-minded people around you, right? So we're going to be open from 7 to 2 p.m., but just from today, I know we're probably going to have to extend our hours, probably like 7 to 4, 7 to 5, 7 to 7, but we're going to be doing little by little. So for right now, 7 to 2 p.m., and we're going to be open on the weekends, okay? So let everyone know, we are so excited, we want to cut this ribbon. I know you guys are hungry, you guys want the teas, you guys want everything. But we're going to go ahead and cut our traditional grand opening ribbon.